Hi Divas, welcome back to my channel. Um, I ordered from Ouija Cosmetics. <clears throat> and I'm going to try an eye look. I'm doing all new products today that I've never used. Um, if you're interested, stay tuned. Well, I guess you decided to stay with me. Alright, today what I'm going to be doing is a look with all new product. Um... I got, it's an indie brand, it's called Ouija Cosmetics, and oh, this is the palette, okay, and I got two pressed shadows, there's one color, there's another color, they look the same but they're a little different, I'm going to be using the ColourPop I can open it up. This, ooh, this ColourPop highlighter. And of course, my phone goes off. Um, ColourPop, ColourPop, uh, cream gel liner. I'm also going to be trying the Tarte C Surfer Curl Lash. And then we're going to, I got these in BoxyCharm add-on. And then that's smart. I opened it upside down. And then, I still got them upside down. I am going to try to do the look with all brand new Luxie brushes. The brushes were on sale. And then I got the um, cover for them. And I didn't get any new foundation, concealer, or anything like that. So we're just going to wing it and see what happens. I'm dying to dip into this palette because I followed them on Instagram for a while. Um, it's a brand new company. Um... There's no names in the palette. There's no mirrors. There's some purples, some greens, some grays. But I figure this is a very basic, you could do a very basic look with it. But this purple is calling to me. And that black is really pretty too. So we're going to see how this goes. really not sure because I've never used their product before. I don't want to be too harsh or too mean because they are a brand new company, but I want to be honest. So let's see what I create. I also forgot to tell you, I am going to be trying out doll parts from Jeffree Star and I'll be using his iridescent mirror because this is new stuff that I've never used before. And... <clears throat> Excuse me, what's crazy is I'm used to the bigger one, so this is going to be an adjustment. So, we'll definitely start with the eyes. And this palette has no names, so I can't give you names. But I am going to go into this shimmery shade right here as a base. Very little kickback in the pan. Oh, this is shimmery. I don't like how skippy it is on my eye, though. And I know it's not the brush, but it's very skippy. Very, very skippy. Not a lot of fallout off of the brush. Not a lot of fallout in the pan, but it's just skipping on my eyelid. I mean, it definitely shows up. And this is the Luxie brush. They don't have numbers on the Luxie brushes, I'm sorry. But... 
Okay, so my base is laid down. I'm gonna use the top row this time. So I'm gonna go into this brown right here in the middle and I am gonna cut my crease with it. And I'm gonna use the same exact brush because I wanna see how the brushes perform. All right, that one has pigment. You can see it. So I'm going to go in and cut my other crease. Not a lot of kickback. I'll give them that. And I'm looking in the palette. And I've noticed the higher I go up on my eyebrow, the lighter it's getting. So to me, it tells me this, this, this is blendable. All right, I'm gonna take another brush. And I am gonna take this shade here, and I'm gonna put it right in here. So I wanna light in my corner here. <clears throat> Excuse me. This shade is very, very light. Very, very light. And there is some cake back in the pan. Not a lot of fallout on the brush. Not a lot at all. And now I'm gonna take this darker brown. Wow, this is like, this brown looks darker in person. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take this shimmer shade here in the corner And I'm going to put it over here. It's like a goldeny brown color. Definitely a goldy brown color. Working on smoking out a little bit my lower lash line. Let's see how that goes. Now, what I do want to do is I definitely want to get into the pressed pigment that I want to put here. Here is the top of the container. And this is the first time me opening it because you can see me struggle. And sometimes nails aren't your friend. Okay. Oh, this shade looks really, really pretty. It's a lot of sparkle in there. But I want to be very careful with it. Ooh, that's got a lot of sparkle and shimmer. It's got a lot. But you don't see the color coming through. Let's try my finger, because I have glitter all over the place. Let's take that little packer brush. Where was it? I had a little 
Micro brush. I'm going to take this little packer brush here and dip it because this is loose pigment. And I'm going to try to pack it on my lid. Does it show up? Yes. Is it the beautiful purple I thought was going to show up? No, but is it pretty? Yes. But basically what I did now is I'm just blending it together. Now I know why they didn't put me on their PR list because I won't be buying this again. I'm not, I'm not a fan of any of this. I guess I'm tainted and spoiled, but I don't, I don't particularly care for this product at all. Not one bit, but it's my personal opinion. I'm not happy with it at all. I mean, here, look at all the fallout from the crest. That's ridiculous as far as I'm concerned. I'm not impressed at all. Okay. I like this color. This is doll parts. I do like that color. So, so far, yes for this, but that shouldn't surprise anybody. And now I'm going to try the Surfer Curl Tarte C. And we'll see how that goes. I mean, I will say this about it. It's definitely making my lashes look longer. I will say that. Definitely making my lashes look longer. I just don't like the fact that I've got glitter all over my face. But yeah, I do like this. I like it a lot. And then I can pick any color I want, but I'm going to go in with their black liner. And I am one, everybody goes inside the eye. That's not me. I go outside the eye because I've had eyeliner tattooed on and I have basically a line to follow I like the eyeliner from ColourPop Definitely like the eyeliner from ColourPop. I can't knock ColourPop. And then what I'm gonna do is I am gonna take this fluffy, if I can, I'm gonna take this fluffy and I'm going to do um, some highlighter here. Oh, this is so pretty. This is really good. Hello. That was a good highlighter. This is definitely a pretty highlighter. We all know I love a good highlight. Like, that is stunning. 
definitely, definitely beautiful. So I'm going to be back in a second on all my final thoughts. Okay, here is my honest opinion, and this is just my opinion, okay? Um, this, uh-uh, it wasn't worth the $20. The press pigments, I'm not impressed with them. I ordered it because I like the aesthetic of the look. I thought it was going to perform great. It didn't. Um, the stuff I did like. Of course, my Jeffree Star Mira. Um, doll Parts by Jeffree Star. The ColourPop Shocking Highlighter. And it's called Manifest That. I love that. And you could tell it's mine because I stuck my nail in it. And you could see the highlighter. So I do like the highlighter. So this is great from ColourPop. Um, love these. I just have to play in some more color. And I do like the Tarte Surf Curl. My lashes do look longer. And I definitely like the, ooh, the Luxie brushes. I think they're very soft. I think they're very pretty. It blended everything really, really well. If you have any of these items, please leave it, please leave it down in the comments below to let me know what you think. If you tried any of these products, sorry, I'm putting stuff away as I'm rambling on, but definitely let me know. Um, so as far as I'm concerned, ColourPop, you can't go wrong with. Jeffree Star, you can't go wrong with. I haven't found a Tarte product I haven't liked yet. It's just the Ouija Cosmetics. I was not impressed. I was super excited to try it. Just not my deal. So I might clean the palette up and see if somebody wants it because to me, I'm not ordering it again, but it's just, like I said, my opinion. So definitely let me know what you think in the comments down below. And I do appreciate all your love, all your support, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.